Welcome to the channel for you. Cognition. In laboratory studies, young cattle are able to memorize the locations of several food sources and retain this memory for at least 8 hours, although this declined after 12 hours. 15-month-old heifers learn more quickly than adult cows which have had either one or two calvings, but their longer-term memory is less stable. Mature cattle perform well in spatial learning tasks and have a good long-term memory in these tests. Cattle tested in a radial arm maze are able to remember the locations of high-quality food for at least 30 days. Although they initially learn to avoid low-quality food, this memory diminishes over the same duration. Under less artificial testing conditions, young cattle showed they were able to remember the location of feed for at least 48 days. Cattle can make an association between a visual stimulus and food within one day, Memory of this association can be retained for one year, despite a slight decay. Calves are capable of discrimination learning and adult cattle compare favorably with small mammals in their learning ability in the closed field test. They are also able to discriminate between familiar individuals, and among humans. Cattle can tell the difference between familiar and unfamiliar animals of the same species conspecifics. Studies show they behave less aggressively toward familiar individuals when they are forming a new group. Calves can also discriminate between humans based on previous experience, as shown by approaching those who handled them positively and avoiding those who handled them aversively. Although cattle can discriminate between humans by their faces alone, they also use other cues such as the color of clothes when these are available. In audio playback studies, calves prefer their own mother's vocalizations compared to the vocalizations of an unfamiliar mother. In laboratory studies using images, cattle can discriminate between images of the heads of cattle and other animal species. They are also able to distinguish between familiar and unfamiliar conspecifics. Furthermore, they are able to categorize images as familiar and unfamiliar individuals. When mixed with other individuals, cloned calves from the same donor form subgroups, indicating that kin discrimination occurs and may be a basis of grouping behavior. It has also been shown using images of cattle that both artificially inseminated and cloned calves have similar cognitive capacities of kin and non-kin discrimination. Cattle can recognize familiar individuals. Visual individual recognition is a more complex mental process than visual discrimination. It requires the recollection of the learned idiosyncratic identity of an individual that has been previously encountered and the formation of a mental representation. By using two-dimensional images of the heads of one cow, face, profiles, three-quarters views, all the tested heifers showed individual recognition of familiar and unfamiliar individuals from their own breed. Furthermore, almost all the heifers recognized unknown individuals from different breeds, although this was achieved with greater difficulty. Individual recognition was most difficult when the visual features of the breed being tested were quite different from the breed in the image, for example, the breed being tested had no spots whereas the image was of a spotted breed. Cattle use visual brain lateralization in their visual scanning of novel and familiar stimuli. Domestic cattle prefer to view novel stimuli with the left eye, i.e. using the right brain hemisphere, similar to horses, Australian magpies, chicks, toads and fish, but use the right eye, i.e. using the left hemisphere, for viewing familiar stimuli. Temperament and emotions. Ear postures of cows are studied as indicators of their emotional state and overall animal welfare. In cattle, temperament can affect production traits such as carcass and meat quality or milk yield as well as affecting the animal's overall health and reproduction. Cattle temperament is defined as, the consistent behavioral and physiological difference observed between individuals in response to a stressor or environmental challenge and is used to describe the relatively stable difference in the behavioral predisposition of an animal, which can be related to psychobiological mechanisms. Generally, cattle temperament is assumed to be multidimensional. Five underlying categories of temperament traits have been proposed. 
Shyness Boldness Exploration Avoidance Activity Aggressiveness Sociability In a study on Holstein Friesian heifers learning to press a panel to open a gate for access to a food reward. The researchers also recorded the heart rate and behavior of the heifers when moving along the race towards the food. When the heifers made clear improvements in learning, they had higher heart rates and tended to move more vigorously along the race. The researchers concluded this was an indication that cattle may react emotionally to their own learning improvement. Negative emotional states are associated with a bias toward negative responses towards ambiguous cues in judgment tasks. After separation from their mothers, Holstein calves showed such a cognitive bias indicative of low mood. A similar study showed that after hot iron debutting, dehorning, calves had a similar negative bias indicating that post-operative pain following this routine procedure results in a negative change in emotional state. In studies of visual discrimination, the position of the ears has been used as an indicator of emotional state. When cattle are stressed other cattle can tell by the chemicals released in their urine. Cattle are very gregarious and even short-term isolation is considered to cause severe psychological stress. When Abrak and Frisian heifers are isolated, they increase their vocalizations and experience increased heart rate and plasma cortisol concentrations. These physiological changes are greater in Abraks. When visual contact is reinstated, vocalizations rapidly decline, regardless of the familiarity of the returning cattle, However, heart rate decreases are greater if the returning cattle are familiar to the previously isolated individual. Mirrors have been used to reduce stress in isolated cattle. Senses cattle use all of the five widely recognized sensory modalities. These can assist in some complex behavioral patterns, for example, in grazing behavior. Cattle eat mixed diets, but when given the opportunity, show a partial preference of approximately 70% clover and 30% grass. This preference has a diurnal pattern, with a stronger preference for clover in the morning, and the proportion of grass increasing towards the evening. Vision Vision is the dominant sense in cattle and they obtain almost 50% of their information visually. Cattle are a prey animal and to assist predator detection, their eyes are located on the sides of their head rather than the front. This gives them a wide field of view of 330 degrees but limits binocular vision and therefore stereopsis to 30 degrees to 50 degrees compared to 140 degrees in humans. This means they have a blind spot directly behind them. Cattle have good visual acuity, but compared to humans, their visual accommodation is poor. Cattle have two kinds of color receptors in the cone cells of their retinas. This means that cattle are dichromatic, as are most other non-primate land mammals. There are two to three rods per cone in the fovea centralis but five to six near the optic papilla. Cattle can distinguish long wavelength colors yellow, orange and red, much better than the shorter wavelengths blue, gray and green. Calves are able to discriminate between long red and short blue or medium green wavelengths, but have limited ability to discriminate between the short and medium. They also approach handlers more quickly under red light. Whilst having good color sensitivity, it is not as good as humans or sheep. A common misconception about cattle, particularly bulls, is that they are enraged by the color red, something provocative is often said to be, like a red flag to a bull. This is a myth. In bullfighting, it is the movement of the red flag or cape that irritates the bull and incites it to charge.